When I'm home, one of my favorite activities with the family is to watch movies on video. It's a great bonding activity. But there are movies I like that my wife or any of my kids are not really fond of. So I end up watching the film all by myself. So whenever I'm alone at home, I sometimes would go you know, binge watching on the films that only a weirdo like me would care to watch. And I end up watching, what, um, six to eight hours straight? I love it. But there's you know, always a part of me that feels guilty doing it. It's, <laughs> It's one guilty pleasure I have to admit I indulge in. Different kinds of people indulge in different kinds of guilty pleasures. Uh, yung iba nagtatago ng junk food no, sa cupboard nila and will munch on them every idle time. I know a friend who always has to have her favorite pistachio ice cream in the fridge. Uh, yung iba naman, ako, magkakaroke, music yan, magkakantahan hanggang magdamagan eh, without a care in the world. Why do we call it guilty pleasure? Because it is a source of pleasure that, you know, other people may not hold in high regard. Uh, they may not be socially acceptable. Uh, some may find them annoying. Others may even be bordering on the sinful. In another sense, they are all about the pursuit of selfish pleasure. I guess the problem with this is that we cannot put a limit on how much pleasure we want to experience if left to our own devices, you know. How much is enough? At what point does a pursuit of pleasure become too much? We don't know. We don't want to know. We say it's okay, but, you know, deep inside, if we will really be honest with ourselves, you know, sometimes it feels like we've committed a grave sin, diba? When you begin pursuing pleasure for its own sake without regard for how other people may feel about it or what their long-term effects may be on you. And when you're allowing yourself to become self-indulgent, then you know you're into guilty pleasure territory. Is it bad? Not necessarily. But will it do you any good? Not at all. Perhaps Apostle Paul can give us a little bit of perspective from this passage in the Bible. He said, But she who is self-indulgent is dead even while she lives. The pursuit of pleasure for its own sake makes us feel alive, for sure. But the Word of God is telling us it's a dead-end pursuit because it has no eternal value. So what do we do with our guilty pleasures? Well, um, you can continue enjoying them, sure, every now and then. Um, there's nothing really intrinsically bad about it. But learn how to temper your desires, and I think you'll be okay. Or better yet, consider foregoing it altogether. Uh, decide not to gratify your desire for pleasure. This will result in so much good. You know, as freedom from your guilty pleasures will set you free to pursue higher, much more meaningful experiences. Always remember, in the pursuit of anything in this, in this world, and yes, even your guilty pleasures, faith matters too.